The fourth day of the first apex test between the West Indies and England at the Sir Vivian Richards Stadium in Antigua was swung in favour of the visiting team. Finishing day three at 373 for nine, the Windies only managed a further two runs before being dismissed early on day four with a lead of 64 runs. That lead was soon neutralised on the brink of the luncheon interval by the Englishmen. They went on to dominate play through the day, scoring profusely off the Windies bowlers who struggled with their line for the duration of the afternoon. Zach Jack Crawley brought up his century after the tea break as the Windies bowlers toiled. At stumps on day four, the visitors ended on 217 for one with an overall lead of 153 runs heading into the final day. And closer to home after two weeks of action, the Dream 11 T10 Blast came to an exciting conclusion between the final two teams, the Soka Kings and the Steel Pan Strikers. The Kings won the toss and elected to bat first, and they amassed a challenging 117 for five of their 10 overs. They were led by 45 of just 21 balls from Orlando, Jesse Bhutan, smashing two fours and a four sixes. Jason Mohammed supported with 36. In response, the Strikers got to their target of 118 with relative ease, utilizing only eight overs while losing only three wickets. Anthony Alexander top scored with 38 and was supported with 28 from opener Evan Lewis. Congrats to the Steel Pan Strikers, winners of the inaugural Dream 11 T10 Blast, which was played in its entirety at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy in Taruba. Wonderful scenes indeed.